Well, the three-mile strip of land on the 38th parallel separates North and South Korea, but the countries are separated by much more than that. So one man started a university with an important goal to bring the two countries together. Here's George Thomas with this amazing story. This is the DMZ, or Demilitarized Zone, the narrow 150-mile-long most fortified border on Earth, the dividing line where the two Koreas, still at war for more than 50 years, watch one another across a no-man's land, dotted with mines, walls, and bunkers. On one side is South Korea, a vibrant, open democracy. On the other, the closed, secret hermit kingdom of Kim Jong-il's communist North Korea. But a fledgling university hopes to build a bridge between the two Koreas. It's called the Pyongyang University of Science and Technology, North Korea's first private university. The school is backed by the South Korean government and evangelical Christians in both South Korea and the United States. Its goal is to give North Korea's future leaders tools to develop the country's backward economy and promote peace on the Korean peninsula. Well, joining us is James Kim. James is the founder of the Pyongyang University of Science and Technology. And Dr. Kim, it's a pleasure to welcome you to the 700 Thank Club. you for the invitation. Thank you. You were denounced as a spy a few Thank years you. ago yes. by North Korea. Yes. Now they've asked you to build a university? Yes. Why? Well, <laughs> and, uh, when I went to the communist country about 30 years ago in China, first time they asking, who are you? What are you? I always declare. I am not communist. I am not capitalist. Yeah. I am lavished. L O V E. Lavished. Lavished. Yes. <laughs> right. So anyway, uh, something have the misunderstanding mm -hmm. each other, and uh, I helped a lot of uh, relief food and many things to North Korea. Mm -hmm. They have the great famine going on around. And they misunderstood. These all kinds of funds come from the U.S. and the CIA fund, mm -hmm. something like that, misunderstanding. Okay. So they captured me, they put me in prison, and uh, they declared that death penalty. They asked me the right will. I wrote the will, just what? simply like that. <laughs> what did you say in your will? Uh, if I die, <clears throat> i like to donate my body to the Pyongyang Medical College. Also, they asked me, right, I am actually now for country citizenship. Mm -hmm. See? As like the uh, God given to the St. Paul given Roman citizenship, he yeah. used that. Yeah. And God gave to me. I say God gave to me okay. for country citizenship. One is I am American, in, uh -huh. American. Pass, I am holding American. Yeah, all right. I am American citizen. Okay. Great United States of American citizen. Okay. Also, Chinese government gave to me and the Chinese permanent citizenship. Of China? China. Oh, my I God. built the China in the university, China, Yanbian University of Science Technology, 20 years ago. Next right. year, our university is the 20th anniversary. Okay. Is all our faculties. Is a God's people. All right. Jesus' disciple came to the all over the world, teaching right. to the, our Chinese university. Yeah. Also, and of course, I am the uh, honorable citizen of the metropolitan Seoul city right. in South Korea. I am citizen of Seoul. Seoul. All right. Also, and uh, North Korea, and yes. also they gave to me, and uh, North Korea and uh, Pyongyang. And you're City. a citizen of North Korea? Yes. They gave to me uh, the North Korean honorable citizen. So Good. I have the four country citizenship. <laughs> anyway, and then oh, uh, when I work in uh, the communist country, and uh, if we demonstrate mm. the God's love, yeah. it's God's love is an absolute love. Yeah. No condition. Okay. Also, Chinese government also moved the heart. Mm -hmm. You are the, our friends. So they allowed me first international university in China. 
now our university. Right. And they know we are all Christian. Okay. And Chinese government allow me, allow us to build chapel. Oh. It's the first chapel, the chapel in China, Chinese university they allowed. We have the chapel in our university. And as like North Korea too. You have a chapel in North Korea? Uh, North Korea just we opened <laughs> last year. Okay. But we are worshiping at the Sunday at in the hall. Mm -hmm. We do not have any separate chapel yet, you know. And they don't come and restrict you from worshiping God? No. No. If he uh, I mean government even we demonstrate a real our Jesus Christ love. All right. Any kind of the ism, any kind of government I mean, system, okay. they can understand because Jesus' love, God's love, mm -hmm. everyone understand, every moving heart, everyone going to become convert. Yes. <laughs> so well, what will happen to the uh, uh, North Korea? What do you think is going to happen? Well, there's only God knows. All right. I cannot judge. Okay. You know? <laughs> only God knows. But uh, as you see, uh, I like this time, I like to tell to the, our U.S. citizen, just I had the news, and 1,900 people, uh, 90 people arrested for the World Street protest. World, world, world Street protest uh -huh. last evening, you know? Yeah, yeah. yeah. But our fellow citizen, don't worry. You are the happiest country you are living on yes. the earth. Yes. You know? The happiest. Happiest. When you, and I brought some money. Yes. It's, I have the penny in my hand. All right. It's not money. Even penny said, in God we, we trust. trust. That's right. You see? That's right. You are using our money is in God we trust. Yeah. This is the mission paper, in some sense. <laughs> then I go to the, I mean, the communist country, always using this money. Shall we learn English? All right. Yes, in God we trust. So they, and they, they're using yes. that money to buy yes. things. It's not merely money. Yeah. So unless we are using in God we trust, uh -huh. our America will be, God will be blessed. It's the glorious country. You should be proud of the being American, United States of American citizen. Amen. You know? Amen. Well, Doctor, I, I'm just grateful for what you're doing. Our prayers are with you. How many students do you have at Pyongyang Technological? And, uh, uh, student, we have uh, 2,500 students. 2,500? Yeah, Our campus is uh, 1 million square meters. Yes. And uh, Pyongyang, just we start last year, is the graduate school we are doing. Mm -hmm. We are training the top elite. So now over 300 students we are teaching. And uh, all, you know, this Pyongyang University of the Science Technology is very different than any other university in, in the world. I should think. And all, and the China also, all our faculties, mm -hmm. all our students, we living together, we eating together, just like one family. Yes. See? So, Single of them, before they graduate, they change their mm. life. They change their value of their identity, in some sense. You know? okay. So anyway, God bless too much, very much, you know, very much. Wow. You know? So anyway, this time also, I like to, uh, just I came last uh, two days ago, and uh, last week, and when I see the, our United States of America, our American citizen, you do not realize how much you blessed, how much God blessed this country and the, to our citizen of yes. America, you know? And I like to say one world, and all of our world, especially communist country world peoples, mm -hmm. they do not know American president name, but they know Bill Gates. Oh, they do? Yes. They know. Yes. Everyone knows Bill Gates. Okay. You know? Okay. Also, everyone knows William Buffett. Yes? Yes. And the, how the Buffett, he came to the, our university last year, uh -huh. and he stayed one week. You know? Buffett did? Buffett. For a week? How 
move ahead. You know? Yeah, all right. And so, because why? Everyone respect Bill Gates or Warren Buffett or, yeah. you know? Sure. Because they know they're using American capital money. Yeah. They are using it with the in God we trust way, you know? <laughs> so everybody respect. Because of this kind of, the, they say capitalist, you know, but mm -hmm. this kind of people so respecting things, they respect America too, you know. Yes, sure. So, uh, dear, my brothers and sisters, American citizens, you are so much blessed. Yes. So I always say, peace comes with the price. Mm. You see? Peace comes with the price. All right. Our salvation comes with the price. Yes. <laughs> no? Yes. So I like to tell, peace comes with the price. Everyone would like to have peace. Mm -hmm. But who must to pay the price? Who going to pay? We, our Christian, yes. God's people, can pay the price. That's right. So if we pay the price, everyone will love them, love us, everyone respect us. All right. See? Well, Doctor, the University of Love, that, that, that's marvelous. <laughs> um, based on... Here I brought the, the gun we trust. Yeah, what's brochure. That? This is a... Uh, I built the, the University of the China. Yeah. And if you turn off there, this is the uh, University of the Pyongyang. And it's this amazing. is our campus, you know. It's big campus. It's amazing. <laughs> All right. Many it's... people... Where does money comes? Built on a dream. Yes. Well, anyhow, well, Doctor, Many people ask me, so where money comes? I <laughs> say, I have unlimited credit at the Bank of Heaven. And well, keep it, keep growing down right. on it. Well, Doctor, I'm afraid our time is up, but yes, thank you. Right. Dr. Dr. James Kim, he's head of the Pyongyang University of Science and Technology in North Korea. Amazing. Yeah. Thanks for being here.